Hi everybody, it's Brian for GadgetUnit.com and in this video I'll be taking a look at the Draco Design Tigris Aluminum Bumper for the iPhone 6 Plus. And I do apologize if I pronounced the product's name wrong. If you are interested in this, the color by the way is Flare Red, you can pick this up from DracoDesign.com for $59.99 each and I would like to thank them for sending this over to me for review. So included in the packaging is the bumper itself as well as this little pack that includes a small screwdriver as well as a couple of extra screws in addition to the two that already come included in the bumper. So obviously this does require some manual installation because you do have to take the screws that are already included out, put it over your iPhone 6 Plus, and then screw everything back into place. But before I do that, let me just go ahead and give you a tour of the bumper before it's installed. And here's what it looks like. It's very thin, so it adds hardly any bulk to your device, whether it be to thickness or the width of your device. Here's what the left side looks like, going around it, like so. You can see what everything there looks like. So as I mentioned, there are two screws to remove on the bumper itself. There is one in this corner, and then there's one on the opposite side. Once you've unscrewed the screws, you have the two pieces to the aluminum bumper. One thing to note is that the little rubber button covers will come out from time to time, so you just wanna make sure to put those back in before you put the bumper over your device, which I will go ahead and do right now. So I'll go ahead and take this piece, which goes onto the left side of the iPhone 6 Plus and just slide it into place. Then I'll take the other piece and slide it over the other part of the phone. And now it's time to put the screws back into place. And here's what the bumper looks like once it's installed onto the iPhone 6 Plus. I really do like the flare red color. It matches pretty well with the space gray iPhone 6 Plus. There's no lay on the table design, so the top and bottom of the bumper actually sits flush with the back of the 6 Plus as well as the front. So you may want to put protection films on the back as well as the front. Taking a tour on the left side, we do have our rubber volume button covers. They are fairly easy to press. The bottom one offers more of a tactile click to it than the volume up button, but they do work just fine. Here we have a cutout for our silent switch. Plenty large and simple to get, or excuse me, easy to get to. Nothing at the top, while on the right side we do have our power button cover. Very clicky, as you might be able to hear over the microphone. And on the bottom we have cutouts for our speaker, lightning port, and the 3.5mm headset jack in addition to the bottom microphone. Here again is the back, there's nothing to really mention here. In terms of usability, it's not too bad. Obviously it doesn't really offer that much protection, so this is probably for somebody who has quite a bit of disposable money who can go out and get a new phone whenever they happen to drop it onto the ground and damage it. On the left side we do have some created by Draco Design branding, while on the right side we do have the Tigris branding right there. Another feature to note is that there is a lanyard opening right here on the bottom right corner, if you are interested in that. One thing to note about this bumper is that like other metal cases and bumpers I've used in the past, this one does decrease my 4G LTE signal strength as well as my data speeds, mainly on the upload side of things for some reason. So depending on your area and your signal strength that you get, this may be the difference between having service and not having service, of course again depending on where you happen to be located. So to conclude, if you're somebody who's looking at a bumper, you're probably already aware that these don't offer much protection, so if that's not an issue for you, and if the signal strength and data speed decrease issues aren't really that big of a deal to you, then this would definitely be a pretty good bumper to go with. It looks great, it's not too high in terms of price for what this actually is. It looks great, and it's really not that bad. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback about this or anything else, feel free to leave those down below in the comments area. But that's it with the video, so thanks a lot for watching and I'll talk to you all very soon.